When the gravitational pull of the Moon and the Sun are in a line, a pretty spectacular event occurs. It's called a king tide. This is basically a tide that is higher than average and occurs two times a year. All right, now we know that tides have a lot to do with the gravitational pull of the moon and the earth, but you know, what is a king tide? King tides happen regularly and they're natural and they're just when there's an extra gravitational force between the sun and the moon and the earth being in alignment. So they're a great way to, to see a higher tide. They happen mm. about twice a year. Miranda, how much warning do you get before a king tide comes? Uh, look, we know that they're coming in about a year in advance, so we know we can forecast how far out and when they might happen and how high they'll be as a prediction. Um, so they're not something to be afraid of, and we can use those warnings so that our communities along up and down the coast are prepared and ready for them. Well, they're very damaging to the environment. They can be. They can affect um, seabirds whose nests might be along the shore or turtle nests, also areas where there's high uh, coastal erosion, taking the sand away from the beach. That can be an impact too. And on our own infrastructure, they can uh, sometimes cause a bit of flooding in houses and along road levels and park sides and sea walls. So it's just good to know when they're coming so that we can be prepared for that. And our mm -hmm. local government's really good about letting everyone know. Now, Miranda, we hear a bit of talk about sea levels rising, often in a very scary way, but uh, how realistic is that? Yeah, it's certainly something there's lots of discussion about at the moment and generally the scientific consensus is that yes, the oceans are rising and we know that they're rising at a little amount of about three millimetres a year, mm -hmm. approximately, depending on where you are and uh, that sounds like a little amount but over a very long time uh, it could be quite a high amount so mm -hmm. it's important that king tides, while they have nothing to do with climate change, are a really good way for us to see what a higher water level might look like mm -hmm. and how that might affect our coast. So that's why it's great to get out there and have a look at a king tide and, and see what our sea level might look like. Right, and now I understand that you get a lot of photos sent in from people who are showing you how the, the tides have affected their areas. Um, why is it important to document that? Yeah, we want to document so that we can start thinking about how we need to plan and adapt the way that we live and our infrastructure along the coast uh, so that we can be better prepared for our future. And we're making those photos into a bit of a database of the whole Queensland coast so we can see what challenges we're going to face.